Today, I want to discuss what makes a good league start build and some things that you should actually avoid when trying to pick a league starter. Rather than focus on a specific build or a specific playstyle, I'm going to go over some general things here because I think there's a lot of variance in what you can do on league start. However, there's definitely certain factors that you have to keep in mind that are the same across all league start builds. So the first basic requirement is it must be able to map at least at the start. No matter what you're trying to do, you need at least some map completion. You probably want to push to and kill Cirrus. You want to get some watchstones so you can get at least up to tier 16 maps, and then you can go from there. So good clear, the ability to do maps at a decent rate, and the ability to kill Cirrus are all important for a league start build. You also need good cost efficiency for your gear. So that means your items have to overperform. You don't want to spend 10 exalts on an item that's a 1% upgrade. You want to spend 20 chaos on an item that's a 15% upgrade. You also don't want the gear to be too specific. If you need six exact affixes in every slot, you're going to find your character very difficult, if not impossible, to gear. Whereas if you can throw any old junk on, you know, a generic rare, a cheap unique, it's all fine. Maybe one or two key pieces that bring the build together. That's a good build. Try to avoid high-end items. Using something like a shavs is totally fine, but don't say, you know, Oh, I need a Shavs and I need two Mjolnirs and I need an Indigon and I need the Shavs to be double corrupted and all this or my build just doesn't work. That's a terrible league start idea and you're going to set yourself up for failure. And then the last thing is be careful when picking something new. It's often hard to tell what new things are good and what new things are bad. It requires a lot more knowledge and experimentation. So if you're a more experienced player, maybe go for it. If you are newer, if you need guides to really feel secure in your build, probably avoid new stuff. And sometimes the new skill that you pick is just Lancing Steel and it is irredeemably bad. I tried Lancing Steel as a league starter. I failed at it. Mathel tried league starting Lancing Steel. He failed at it. The skill was irredeemably bad on release. Now you might be saying, why are you talking about League Start stuff when you're showing off this fancy high-speed gameplay? Well, because this is my Penance Brain character with around 100x invested. It is very complex, it has a lot of mechanics that interact very tightly, and it is the exact opposite of what you want on a League Starter. If the gameplay from a League Start video is showing something like this, that is not the League Starter for you. Look at something else. Look for something with more realistic gameplay. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to switch to POB for the Poison Blade Vortex Pathfinder that I started in Delirium League. To date, this is the League Start build I am most proud of because it has an extremely high efficiency of gear, and it was quite beginner friendly as demonstrated by me giving it to my good friend Card Counter Chris, who's a complete noob at Path of Exile, and he was able to run with it and do quite well. So this is my Poison Blade Vortex Pathfinder, which also has a tree for Assassin. I tried the Pathfinder version because I wanted the more reliable uptime on flasks, and therefore the slightly better defenses. But Assassin also has a fair bit of damage. I think at the time I may have been a bit biased by the fact that I tried an Assassin that really did not feel very good in Blight League. And that might have colored my opinions. I do think with new things such as Cluster Jewels... If this tree was reworked for endgame, the assassin would feel better than it did when I tried it. But the core of this build is not about whether it's a pathfinder or an assassin. The core of this build is about the fact that it uses a lot of very inexpensive, easy to obtain items. So you have a cold iron point, this covers a large amount of your damage. You have a mist wall, this gives you block cap on top of all of your natural avoidance. You have Embalmers, which are your main links, which means you don't even need a 6 link, you've got a 5 link, you're good. Kintsugi adds a pseudo fortify effect if you haven't been hit recently. Adziri's step rounds out your avoidance a bit, and they have decent life, decent move speed. On top of all this, you can pick up Wind Dancer to double down on your Kintsugi effect. What you get is a very cheap build that very much outperforms how inexpensive it is. Now, in terms of the pros and cons, I would say overall the Assassin has more damage for bossing and much more damage for single target on rares in maps. On the other hand, the Pathfinder has much better clear speed in maps. It can go faster. You don't need to augment your clear with something like an Obliteration, which means it is simpler to build, and you have better reliability of flasks, which means your bossing is a little safer if you don't know what you're doing and you're worried about getting hit. What I enjoy about these builds is they have enough damage to get you started, and they have enough defenses, as you'll see here, very reliable layers of defense against physical 
lightning, cold, fire, and chaos. Enough so that you're not going to feel super squishy. It doesn't mean you can run up and face tank enemies, but it means that you are covered as long as you play reasonably carefully. Of all the League Start builds that I have played, this is, I think, the best put together for the super early game, day one to three. Overall, I ran into some frustrations with it, but that had more to do with performance issues in Delirium League and the fact that my game was constantly lagging and freezing, which you can see from some of the gameplay on my League Start videos associated with the build. Now let's take a look at something that I have made for a more recent League. So, some other good examples of what you might want on League Start would be a Spell Slinger build, ED Contagion Trickster, Cyclone Champion, Freeze Pulse Totem Hyro, Minion Necro, or Miners. None of these builds have any specific requirements gear-wise, or if they do, they are fairly inexpensive and easy to obtain uniques and generic rares. Also, while some of these builds don't scale particularly well in the high end of the endgame, the Freezing Pulse Totem Hyro and ED Contagion Trickster stand out where they get very expensive. They work extremely well on very basic gear, and they can do tier 16s, they can do Cirrus. It might not be the fastest experience, and you might want to reroll to something else later, but it will get the job done, and it won't feel bad. Or, another example might be the Wintertide brand Cold Snap Occultist, which I've put together as a trial for a 3.12 league start. So when I made this build, I wanted to specifically focus on inexpensive uniques, things that are fairly easy to obtain early on, and then fill with generic rares. So I'm using Incandescent Heart. It's a nice defensive bonus against elemental damage. I don't have to worry too much about physical because with all of the slows and the default defenses from chill, I don't have to worry too much about getting hit by melee. I can kind of sit back and kill stuff. All I have to worry about are a lot of ranged abilities, most of which are elemental. If I use just any old six-link Val Regalia with three, four hundred ES, that's also totally fine. For my helmet, I am putting my secondary skill, which is Cold Snap, in it. Therefore, I wanted the additional link. I am using Rhyme Gaze, which is very inexpensive, even early league. Super solid helmet for any Cold Dot build. I'm using Aegis Aurora combined with Cerberus's Limb. Aegis Aurora can be expensive. I could instead use Cephal's Frame and drop the Cerberus's Limb for a Spine of a First Claimant, or I could just use a rare in each slot. Any rare with Trigger will be quite nice and a good place to start. For shoes, I'm using Sintrek. They're great generic ES boots. For the amulet, the rings, and the gloves, I'm using rares. And for belt, I'm going back to Bated Breath. It is corrupted, doesn't have to be. Bated Breath is a great cheap unique. So none of this gear is particularly hard to obtain or particularly expensive. Overall, this build is pretty solid. It doesn't excel in the single target category without at least a little bit of gear. Again, I advise Vortex early on, but overall, it's pretty good. It's solid enough that I would definitely consider playing this, and I would definitely advise other people to play this. You could do a life-based version. The reason that I went for a CI version is this way I just don't have to worry about chaos damage. And that is quite valuable as there's more and more chaos damage in the game and capping your chaos resistance can be expensive. Ultimately, I'm going to also include a POB of what the endgame version of this would look like. The endgame version is a much better bosser. It is far tankier and it is low life to have significantly more damage but you don't need all the bells and whistles when you are starting out in the league. So hopefully you can see how some of these principles can be used and applied to different builds. You don't have to league start any of the things I've showcased or talked about here. You could start something else entirely. But when you do, make sure to apply these principles. Don't try to make a meme build with a lot of complex mechanics that has a 5% chance of working out. That's going to end as a bad time. Because 95% of the time, you're just going to feel really behind and you're going to struggle at basic maps. And you're going to wonder what's wrong. And in a lot of ways, I think these principles will be equally applicable in 4.12 as they are in 3.12. Because they're not about this one build or this one style of play. So I'm curious, what is your favorite League Start build? What build have you played multiple times? And what League Start build have you had a terrible experience with? For me, it was Lansing Steel. I really did try to make it work. And at first I thought it did. But then the damage just fell off and never came back. And it felt like an endless money pit. So I ultimately ended up re-rolling. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And if you found this content helpful, please consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell so that you can see all of my other uploads. I cover a lot of topics from PoE help videos to just general gaming and my thoughts on the various other games I try that aren't Path of Exile. If you want to further help support this channel, you can click the join button down below. Join the channel for as low as a dollar to help support me in doing what I do so that I can continue to provide content like this. 
And if you join at a $10 level, your name will be featured on the screen in my outro. But for now, thank you again for watching, and as always, stay sane, exiles. Good luck in your next league start.